So, anyway, man, I'll wrap this one up. I, maybe Don Lemon just gave Donald Trump that campaign ad on purpose. Maybe he really wanted to ensure that that would go viral. And I'll tell you what, don't be surprised if that clip becomes a Trump campaign. And I'm not even kidding. That's Tim Pool. And Tim Pool is talking about Don Lemon's insane mockery of Trump supporters. It's the greatest pro-Trump campaign ad ever. He's referring to this. I'm just going to play this clip. It's about a minute and a half. And this is, uh, well, I may pause it and interject something just because reasons. Obviously, it's false. And look, he also knows... Alrighty, I got, I got I got to adjust my stuff. I want to make sure you see this guy. There you go. There you go. Hey, hey, let's do it like that. There you go. Deep in his heart, that Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane <laughs> next. To <laughs> okay, I just want to say like that. Objectively, is not funny. And let's see if Don Lemon has any kind of comedic critical acumen or if the mere mention of Donald Trump sucks enough to do it for Don to it he knows that this is you know an, an, an all right all right we're okay but you know don't don't you know he's doing this little, okay yeah okay, I'm being polite you know that looks like so far we're all right everybody's fine you know it was a kind of a lame joke easy you know don't mean it it's just stupid who would even make that connection who who that? It's like, wait a second. You want to you want to go get a crane? I'm being ridiculous here, but still, you want to get a crane? Not not a, not anywhere approaching his level of ridiculous. You want to get a crane? You want like you know how much money it is, man, to rent a crane? To like drag a crane out, or, or are you gonna buy it? Like even jack the price up even more for this little gag gag, gag of yours? Where are you get this U from? Hollywood doesn't have a U in its sign, so where are you gonna get a U that big? I don't know. I think that's the only place that you probably get uh, any letters that big in America today. An administration defined by ignorance Fact. of the world. <laughs> and so that's part. Uh, OK. And there and there. Holy moly. How is that that funny? An administration defined by the ignorance of the world. OK. Now I'm not going to keep playing this because. This is my original intention. My original intention was I was going to go through this little video clip here and I'll you'll watch the rest of this on your own time. And then I decided that uh, YouTube news commentary channels, that was a more interesting story for me to talk about. So that started with the video that I showed you originally with Tim Pool, Sir Timothy Pool. And uh, he's the reason that I found out about this story. And then I went to check it out myself and um, listened to the video. It's like, oh, that's, I can see a lot of stuff about that. All right. Well, that's interesting. This sounds like fun. Totally dialectalized the crap out of this. I'm like, all right, let me find some other folks and see what kind of uh, opinions. And because I wanted to do like kind of a uh, a video, which was not as much about my take on what happened but other people's takes in this instance that's the route i was thinking i was gonna go and then i did a search for don lemon mocks trump supporters and i got cnn 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 Every za is a CNN, okay? Because I don't want to keep saying CNN. I mean, that's a lot of CNNs. Still, 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 still. Imagine if you had that kind of power to protect your brand in a public, uh, an international. Well, I, I don't know if this is probably an American, uh, probably search engine version. So I'll say. An American, uh, an, 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 a national, 300 plus million people potentially in this market. I don't know how many YouTube serves, but maybe even as much as half. Uh, that market that a uh, provider has, that a, that, 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 a, that a corporation has that kind of power over that type of market for a phrase like Don Lemon mocks Trump supporters. 
Don Lemon mocks Trump supporters. That's a phrase. You're, you're not generally looking for CNN's take on that. And yet, this is entirely CNN. Don Lemon. Don Lemon. Do a search for Don Lemon. See what you get. Look at that. I want to find out something about Don Lemon. I'm looking for Don Lemon. Look at this. CNN. 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 Look at that. CNN, 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 CNN. I mean, this is, uh, oh, oh, Jimmy Kimmel gets in. Then then we got Jimmy Kimmel and Late Night with Seth Meyers. Look at that. Those two get in. And more CNN, more CNN, more CNN, more CNN. And what are these? Let's see, Jimmy Kimmel. In. This is Don Lemon on Jimmy Kimmel. Don Lemon on. And what are these? These are favorable. I mean, you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me that somehow. That you have an, a, a search engine that's not biased, that's not political, or that's not, uh, uh, I mean, this to me, this is like antitrust type stuff going on here. This is one huge corporation using its resources to protect the interest of of other huge corporations. This is antitrust. They, where are my news commentators? I'm looking for YouTube news commentators. I expected, I expected, what I expected to find was at the top here. It's going to be the usual garbage of, of, of MSMREs, the vomit, the vomit networks. It was going to be the vomit networks at the top. And you're going to have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And right about here is where some people start to show up. Look, right there. There's one. Who's that? Who who is Saeed Walk with seven hundred and forty four views? Manages the that's one slot that they've given there. One slot. And then look at that. CNN, CNN. It, it's not even MSN. It is overwhelmingly CNN. This isn't even a usable search engine for anybody. But CNN, this is basically a database for CNN. So you have certain key phrases that YouTube will automatically just pin to protect this certain corporation. There's got to be some antitrust violations going on there, I'm sure. This can't be good. I would say that uh, a class action lawsuit against YouTube by YouTube news commentators over this. This is an antitrust issue. They are locking YouTube news commentators out of this competitive space. And I would, uh, I would sue them. And I would, uh, I mean, if I had the resources, you need, you need hundreds of thousands of YouTube news commentators to get come together for a class action lawsuit, where you can afford the millions to bring in the million, the million the million dollar lawyers yeah none of these cheap little gofundmes we need like a hundred thousand youtube news commentator folks and their supporters paying like agreeing we're okay we're gonna sign up for a subscription service we're gonna pay like thirty dollars a month everybody we're gonna like a hundred thousand people thirty dollars a month we got three million dollars a month budget to pay lawyers to sue the heck out of YouTube and see if uh, American rule of law has any hope of 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 restoring the public square to Americans because this this is this is terrible look look you do a search for CNN and guess what you get a search for CNN now I understand at the top you get CNN I totally get that CNN 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 you think if somebody's doing a search for CNN that all they want is CNN, CNN, CNN. This is insane. This is, I mean, to me, this is clear evidence. This is, this is anti, I mean, well, I'll say, let me, let me clarify. This is clear evidence to me of collusion between large corporations for the purpose of freezing out competition from smaller outlets. 
this is what's going on. This is clear. Now, because of how this is done, and I don't know the, the legalities of how antitrust is written, is there, is there really even a provision to deal with this? I, I mean, I don't know all those. I'm not, I'm not a, a legal expert, and I don't even play one on TV. How about this? Donald Don Lemon creates Trump ad. Don Lemon creates Trump ad. If I'm doing a search for Don Lemon creates Trump ad, here I'm actually, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out are there ter certain phrases, words where I can't actually find? Because I'm still trying at this point. I'm still on on making the 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 video that I plan on making. I'm going to discuss this, the you know the the the, the joke fest itself. So I'm still trying to find news. I'm I'm authentically trying to find the YouTube news commentators. Okay, well there is a way to find the YouTube news commentators. So okay. But uh, after I did this search, this was like, oh, okay, I think I know what I have to do. But then I was like, okay, I know what I have to do. I have to go to filter. I have to go to last hour. Look at that. Nothing. Do you think that nobody made an, a video in the last hour on YouTube? Don Lemon creates Trump ad. As a matter of fact, the Tim Pool video I mean, they have algorithms. They should be able to tell that uh, that Tim. I mean, Tim Paul's video should show up here. Well, okay, maybe not last hour because hold on, he might have made it. Let me let me see if he shows up for today. Let's see if Tim Pool shows up for today, because this video was definitely made today. So Don Lemon creates ad, and we'll put today in. <laughs> I have no idea even what it's doing. I don't think it knows what it's doing. Okay, but you can. Okay, let's say Don Lemon. What's the original phrase here? Let's go back to Don Lemon mocks Trump supporters. Let's just do that. Last hour. Let's see what we get. We get Fox Business and Azuri Fati. Now, I can assure you there was a lot of uh, YouTube newsers that are making videos about Don Lemon mocks Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. Plenty. Like Tim Pool. Let's do Don Lemon mocks Trump supporters, Tim Pool. Look, I am looking for Tim Pool. And what do I get? I get Jimmy Kimmel and CNN. I enter Tim Pool. It complete. Oh, and I get the Young Turks. Young Turks is all part of this group, by the way. Uh, well, that's a they're, they're the Young Turks is part of this group, but they're kind of the Frankenstein in the group, and they're trying to become the group itself. So the Borg absorbed the Young Turks, and now the Young Turks are trying to reverse osmosis it. So they're they're part of it, but they're in competition too. Uh, but still. CNN, CNN, for Tim Pool. You see this. You see this, folks. Now, what's happened here is this has become a viral topic amongst conservatives, libertarians, progressives. And, and yeah, I mean progressives, like not, not DNC progressives. I mean progressives. Uh, they they look at the, the whole Don Lemon thing in the same way that uh, many conservatives do. They see it as, wow, this is like, this is police state type scary stuff that's happening. This is, you, you think about the fact that CNN is so openly, belligerently a, a, a factional agitprop institution. They're a Marat-styled news agency. And that's a reference in French Revolution. This Marat, he, uh, he, he was a newsman and he, his news was basically he just wrote horrible, hateful things to get people roused up and getting them to do horrible and hateful things to other people. That's essentially what CNN is now. It is simply a Marat. It is Now, I want to let you know, CNN, how Marat ended. Charlotte Corday, one of the commoners, uh, and there is still a mystery as to how all of that actually happened. She uh, walked into his bath. Welcome into his bath and uh, killed him. Slit his throat. It was a famous uh, 
painting by Jean Auguste Ang called I, oh now I can't remember what it, maybe it's just called oh I think it's just called the death of Marat I think that's it of Marat where this hand his arm outside uh, he's, he's bleeding what is his arm bleeding or his neck I can't remember now it might be confusing that but it's, it's a stunning painting that's how it ended the eventually the the common rabble were were sick of it they were sick of uh, they were sick of what you were doing and uh he he died in a bath. I don't know how metaphorically CNN could metaphorically die in a bath. Uh, that's the metaphorical end for you. I don't know how a news organization does that, but it's probably what will happen. So there you have it, folks. Something weird going on. And uh, certainly, oh, 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 that's right. That's right. Hold on. I'm not done yet. Let's just keep going here. That's right. I did. So I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to beat their algorithm, to actually find my news commentators for the type of stories. Like if I actually, so I'm trying to work around, so I'm using less news anchor attacks, Trump supporters. So now I'm, I'm okay. Maybe there's a way for, for basically, is there a way for people looking for YouTube commentators instead of corpo state uh, shills? Is there a way for them to find one another on YouTube? Using and, and you know what I gotta say my my assessment is uh, heck knows if you're looking for a current news story it goes into protection mode immediately whatever is the viral news story YouTube search algorithms don't become algorithms they become basically aggregation link farms where they aggregate whatever they have to aggregate to protect the corpo state to protect the mega corporations from competition from smaller outlets they're literally committing at least the spirit of uh of of, of antitrust violations literally and uh, news anchor attacks trump supporters well we get a little bit more in here but most of it is now instead of just all cnn now we're getting all of the most all of the news outlets but you're not seeing any i'm still not finding actual youtube commentators these are all well-paid operations not youtube commentators like me and that's what i'm looking for msm attacks now here i'm doing msm attacks so i'm figuring msm attacks right MSM attacks Trump supporters. Did that work? Nope. MSM attacks Trump supporters. Did not work. I'm still getting well-paid operations, not independent YouTube news commentators. They, are, they have fundamentally locked out a huge YouTube news political commentation has been totally locked out of all of the major news searches and that to me is an antitrust violation they are absolutely protecting large corporations from competition from people like you and me while doing that they're preaching their wokeness and their and they're and they're practicing their wokeness by destroying the lives of uh of of youtubers that uh made what they have even possible while they preach their self-righteousness and use their moralities to to attempt to kill us all metaphorically not literally this is who they are they're billionaires protecting billionaires youtube is a billionaire platform and and their version of uh i call it dnc sjw you call it rainbow Nazism. That's another alternative. Although I, if you're ever going to use that phrase, I think I would ask you to always follow up with, hey, I love rainbows. I just don't love rainbow Nazis. There's a difference. I love Christians, but I don't like Christian Nazis. I love Muslims, but I don't like Muslim Nazis. Nazi comes in many flavors. And just because uh, the, the, the flavor, well, because Nazi has a flavor, the flavor itself is not the problem. The problem is when you add the Nazi to it. And you can add Nazi to almost anything. Nazi is basically, at its core, it's basically our purpose is to fulfill 
some uh, a very grand superior collective that allows us to subhumanize, uh, destroy, and otherwise significantly alter through coercive means the minds and actions of others for the preservation of our moral purity. That to me is what Nazism has become in, in essence. And on that front, there's a lot of Nazis out there that take on a lot of shields, whether they're rainbow shields or white shields or black shields or European shields or Chinese shields or whatever it is, all kinds of shields out there that people use to justify their particular flavor of Nazism. And really, at the heart of the matter, most of these people, these flavored Nazis and all their different flavors, at their heart, it's not really about the flavor, it's about the Nazi. That's their primary calling. But anyway, I guess I've probably ranted too long on this video, but there you have it. You do with this information what you will, but I tell you the truth, it can't continue like this. Something's got to give. And I sure hope that what gives is, I believe, 80 plus percent of us, whatever, even even so many of us that even right now, maybe we feel the full fiat fire of the angels and demons narratives within us. And whether we're conservatives or progressives, or we hate the conservatives or we hate the progressives, we hate the Nazis or we hate the commies, the antifas, the the Christian right, whatever whatever your, your, your boogeymans and demons are, whatever your angels and abilities are, I think 80% of us are adults and uh, we've come to understand the pragmatic reality that when you live in a land surrounded by people with multiple views, even if you think some of them really suck, uh, so long as people leave each other the blinkety alone and uh, people feel like they have a reasonably fair chance to uh, live the life that they're choosing, we, we, we can figure out a way to... Uh, I guess, deal with the consequences of uh, diverse living. The consequences of diverse living are there can be no, no strict uniform morality code throughout the land. You have to have a, a, very, uh, a, 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 a very limited morality code that allows diverse moralities to coexist without demanding that their morality be the law of the land. And that's tricky. And getting there is uh, very difficult, and it's incredibly it's 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 not it's not even possible so long as we have the angels and the demons, and all of those narratives uh, beating us across the head, preventing us from getting to the the the, the non moral discussions of uh, okay, there's this river, and there's these two cities, we got to figure out how to make this work because uh, otherwise one of these cities is probably going to have to try to de destroy the other and then everybody will probably end up dead so we got to figure out a way for these two cities to exist so to speak and it's not going to be by coming to a final conclusion that involves the uh the end of your opposition your opposition you need it you need me and i need you that's the thing we need each other all right